is up, Mass Superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, I'm bringing to you an introduction about algebra. So here we go. So we're going to talk about some different terms. We're going to take a look at what it looks like in expressions, equations, and inequalities. And so here are some different terms. First term is called a variable. This is a symbol. Your fill in the blank is a symbol. A symbol that represents a number we do not know yet. And so typically in algebra, uh, the things that you'll see, they're represented by letters. And so you might see X or Y or the letter A or B. So any kind of letter, any kind of symbol, will tell you in a math sentence or math expression that this is a number that we do not know yet. So we call this a variable. So here we have three examples. These are not listed in your notes, but you're more than welcome just to watch or to write this down if this helps you out here. So when we try to identify the variables, these are just the symbols that talk about an unknown number here. So when we look at this first example here, 17y, we have an unknown variable. Our variable is y here. And the way we will actually will read this, this is actually 17 times y. We, uh, we know that there's no operation in between 17 and y. So don't be confused. This is not just in the ones, this is not a ones place. So it's not going to read 100, it's not going to read 170 something. This actually reads as 17 times y. So for the next one, we have 8a. We can read this as 8 times a with a being the variable here. And here we have a lonely little variable. Our variable is just B here. So these are just some symbols, some letters that represent an unknown number that eventually we will figure out, but not in this lesson. So let's talk about the coefficient. This is the number before the variable. So it can be a fraction, it can be a whole number, it can be positive or negative, but every variable has a coefficient. So all that is is the number before the variable is the key thing. So we'll talk about how to identify the coefficient here in a second. So here we're going to talk about the examples of coefficients here. So coefficient, this is going to be the number that we're going to multiply the variable by. So it's usually right next to the variable here. So a coefficient 3x plus 1. We're looking at our, we'll find our variable first is x, and we're going to identify the coefficient is the number before the variable here. So our coefficient is 3 in our first example. In our second example, we can find out where our variable is. So our variable is y. But we notice that, uh oh, there's no number right before the variable. So we know that this is actually a multiplication problem like we talked about with the variables. So we know that it's blank times y. And we know that any number times one gives us any number. So our coefficient, even though it's not listed here, is actually gonna be the number one. So we know that one times y does not change what y is. And so we can say that our coefficient for coefficient for this expression y plus 5 is just the number 1. And so then here we have two coefficients that we're going we're gonna to list here. So we have two different variables. We have z and a. So our coefficient for z is going to be 3. And our coefficient for a, we can see, we can see that it's 6, but we're going to refer to our operation sign in the middle. So we know that it's 6. And then when we look at the operation sign, it's going to give us a negative 6 there. So we have a constant. So the constant, this is a number with no variable attached. So it's just in our math sentences or expressions, you will just see a number that's just called a constant. It means that that number doesn't change. It's consistently that number. So we have a constant. So the constant, this is a number with no variable attached. So it's just in our math sentences or expressions, you will just see a number that's just called a constant. It means that that number doesn't change. It's consistently that number. 
So when we talk about terms, you're going to be asked to, you're going to, to say, how many terms are in the following expressions here? So all we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to count everything except for the, our operation sign. So we have 3x plus 1. We can count the terms. So we know that 3x is one term and 1 is a second term. So we know that there are two terms here. So now let's go ahead and look at our second expression, 4a plus 3b plus 4c minus 10y. We can see that this has one term, two terms, three terms, four terms. So we can say that has four terms. And then I have 18 plus x. So 18 is a term and x is a term. So I have two terms listed here. So now we talk about what an expression is. An expression is a group of terms. And so these are numbers, coefficients, variables, and it does not contain, does not contain an equal sign is the key part in that to identify an expression. So here we have this expression here. So we have three X plus one. And so we can identify three this is our coefficient. This is the number that is before the variable. So we have x that is our symbol representing an unknown value. So we call that, that's a, our variable. And our number one here, this is our constant because that number will not change. And here it's asking a question, how many terms do we have? So when we have, when we talk about the word terms, this is how many different parts are there to the expression or equation. And so here we have 3x, since this is multiplication, this is going to be together. So this is one term. And our constant, anything after our operation sign. So our number here, 1, is a second term. So we can say that this expression has two terms. So now let's take a look at this example. We have 2k plus 15 minus m minus 3 plus n minus 7p. So our first step is we're going to identify all of the terms here. So this fine, let's see, we have 2k is our first term, 15 is our second term, we have m, we have negative 3, we have n and negative 7p. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have six terms. Let's go ahead and list out all the variables we can find. We have two, we have K, we have M, and we have N, and we have P. So we list out our variables here. We have K, we have M, we have N, and we have P. So now let's go ahead and list out our coefficients. These are the numbers that we're going to multiply the variable variable by. They're before before the variable, so we have here we have k, the variable, the coefficient is 2. We have m, we know that any number multiplied by 1 gives us that number. So we have m, our number is 1 here, coefficient is 1, but since we have a subtraction sign, it's going to be negative 1. We have n is going to be our third, co third variable, our coefficient. Is going to be one, and since it's addition sign, it's going to be positive one. In our last but not least, our co we have a coefficient of seven with p, but since that's subtraction, it's going to be negative seven. And our constants, these are just straight up the numbers here with no variables by themselves. So we have 15, we have negative three, and let's just write those in. We have 15 and negative three. Let's go and try another one here. So let's go ahead and figure out what all of our terms are. So our terms here, we have negative eight's a term. We have four C, seven, we have C, get that and that's nice. So here we go with our terms here. So we have negative eight. So we have four C, but since it's subtraction, let's put negative four C. We have seven, we have negative C. We have negative 12C and we have negative 2. 
let's go ahead and list out our variables here. So here's our variables. We have C, we have C, C, we have three C's. So let's just write C for one of those. Let's go and find out our variables. So let's go ahead and go back to, I'm sorry, our coefficients. So let's go back to all of our variables. So we have four here. And so since we have a subtraction sign, we can say we have a coefficient of negative four. We have our second C right here. The coefficient is one, but we have subtraction, so it's gonna be negative one. And our last but not least, our last C right here has a coefficient of 12. And so that's gonna give us, but since the subtraction is gonna be negative 12, and let's find out our constants last but not least. We have negative, oops, we have negative eight, we have positive seven and negative two. So let's go and list those out there. We have negative eight, positive, oops, positive seven and negative two. So now here we're in the second part. Let's talk about what an equation is. An equation is a math sentence that states that two quantities are equal and you guessed it, every equation will have an equal sign.